Hello, my dear global family. So welcome all eight billions of people on the earth, all children of God, to Global uh, Peace Forum. We are meeting daily in Global Prayer Chain and Forum Reports uh, to bring ultimate global peace by 2027, uniting people and organizations from simple people to presidents. All are welcome because this is predestination for all human beings. Does uh, being at this uh, meeting uh, in direct presence of God, you receive a lot of blessing to attract uh, happiness, uh, true love, uh, prosperity, and abundance to your family, community, country, the world. Does subscribe the channel, share this message to billions, watch this uh, till the end, and invite next time uh, all your friends uh, and even presidents and prime ministers who all are invited here so powerful uh, as the billions of spirits are watching this uh, meeting concretely right now and you personally those who watch and see this and does this is very historical meeting as we are on the 606th meeting a row praying for peace and building peace brick by brick hour by hour every day every hour every second more about us is below the video. Join this uh, great uh, movement uh, with donations, volunteering work, and real substantial uh, building peace. Let's start with a powerful song, and then uh, we'll have uh, words of God, and then will be actual forum or everybody, all eight billions are welcome to give their words and prayers and reports and everything for peace 2027 researchers. Enjoy sing along. Let's put our hands together. Thank you very much, uh, LA family, Los Angeles. Uh, let's uh, go with the cuts. Words of God from Messiah are coming. Nothing to add, but very powerful. This is from Philosophy of Peace. So let's uh, go with the cuts. Peace between mind and body. The place where you live is full of gangsters. Your mind and body are fighting each other. 
So if you are husband and wife, there will be four gangsters within your couple. Where there are 10 family members, there are 20 gangsters. With the three and six billion people on earth, there are 7.2 billion gangsters. No one can even dream of peace under such circumstances. God is wise and he understands the logic of this situation very well. So where did he place the original peace? He works on in uh, it uh, within individual through religion. This reveals the greatness of God. He did not place the origin of peace on the world level or on the level of the nation or tribe. He placed it within individuals. The peace between the individuals, mind and body is that eternal origin. Then who could separate a man and woman who are born of God and who attain that peace? Who could tear apart the completely united family? Who could pull apart a perfected man as plus and a perfected woman as minus? Who totally attach themselves to each other with the force of God's love. The foundation of such a family in which all are rooted in the love of God, the source of all power has yet to appear on earth. Religion addresses life and death situation issues for individuals. These are issues such as uh, will I die or will live? And how will I find the criteria of mind and body harmony and freedom in the mind-body relationship? This is because the liberation of the society, nation and world comes only when individuals have found their place of liberation, their right to, to freedom and self-governance. This is the only way that avoid contradictions or logic. But how can you possibly find freedom within while your mind and body are constantly fighting? Humanity desires peaceful world. Yet even after hundreds of millions of years, there is no peace. For the fallen people, peace is not possible. Who is the owner of peace? In order for family, to be peaceful, the mother and father, who are the owners of peace, have to teach their family members uh, the origin and contents uh, of peace and how to put this into practice. We will not find eternal peace until this happens. Did our human ancestors find peace? Adam and Eve became enemies. You who have received the blood of those enemies then endure constant battles between your mind and body. Why did your body and mind start fighting? The fight became, began because uh, the original source of peace was lost and destroyed. How could people who have not found the criteria of peace between their body and mind find peace in the world? People who fight are expelled from their family, their nation and the world. Today, with the entire human race battling between mind and body, uh, how can anyone go to the kingdom of God? No matter how much you focus on the mind, you will not get there. The purpose of religion is to bring unity between body and mind. The struggle between mind and body. The world in which division and conflict never ends is the opposite of the garden of God's ideal love. It is not a world of truth that realizes the ideology of peace premised upon love. It is a world that Satan inhabits in which he destroyed the moral law of family relationships. It is a world in which jealousy, envy, so unending struggle and division. Are you seeking the heavenly castle? In the other words, the, the garden of the original ideal, while you harbor jealousy and envy in your heart, do you have conflict and division in your mind? If such things remain within, you will never find the garden of original ideal.
The fall originated with the self-centeredness. The fall ruined the human history, bringing a fiction, um, failure, and war. We need to arrive at the understanding of fundamental issues in order to clear these things away. We need to discover the root of living for the sake of others and all things grounded in God's love. To do so is to discover the source of peace. Without discovering the source of peace, we will not be able to build a world of peace. Our bodies, uh, which were to have received God's lineage and God's love eternally, received the blood of the devil, Satan, the enemy of both God and original human beings. We are in the bitter situation that uh, will uh, drag us into hell. To this day, people have not known this. What I'm saying is that uh, Satan took family, a family that could have lived a happy, ideal life in a peaceful kingdom with God as the center. And uh, he violated it, um, creating a world of misery and hell. The battle between the mind and body is more hideous than a nuclear war. In a nuclear war, there can be a ceasefire. But there are no fire in the battle between uh, mind and body. That war never ends. From each person's first day of existence on earth until the last, a ceaseless war is fought in the background of the mind. People in this state formed families and then tribes and their fighting increased. Then people were... Uh, added upon people increasing conflict after which nations uh, found against nations. Human history until now has continued as a history of war. There has not been a single day when all wars were stopped. Their origin is the mind and body. This point of origin, the body and mind, initiates the conflict. Individuals, family, tribe, and people, and nation follow this pattern. Okay, as we have today's uh, topic, we are praying for success. We're supposed to understand why the humankind can't have success yet. So let's go with our uh, uh, global uh, uh, prayer chain, uh, our global uh, peace forum, and invite uh, Irina from Uganda to pray. Happy welcome, Irina. Can you pray now? Ah, Irina, happy welcome. Yes, but uh, my my internet is not good. If I go off, please bear with me. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Let us pray. A good evening, our most precious heavenly parents, our beloved two parents, our Lord Jesus Christ and all the sages and saints of the world. Good evening, every brother of, of on this forum and sisters on this forum. And thank you for joining us today to continue to pray for peace. I want to ask our heavenly parents, the creator of heaven and earth, to come and be with us here as we pray for peace. Because we know it is the will of our heavenly parents, God, that there be peace on earth and that we live in harmony, living for the sake of the others as we've just had in the reading. And we know that peace is not very far. Actually, if we are peaceful in our hearts, it's very easy to spread it. So I am praying and asking our beloved heavenly parents to guide us, to keep us united, to give us courage, to give us love and humility, because humility goes with peace. And all the big religious leaders who have done well on earth, they are quoted to be very humble. So we pray for humility in our hearts so that we may be able to touch the hearts of the so many people who are searching and yearning for the truth. It's because 
we have not actually been able to be in touch with those prepared people. But the world is full of people prepared to listen and to understand the will of God deeply. So I want to ask our beloved heavenly parents to keep us on track. Let us not lose our focus on fighting for peace on earth. Also to pray for all those countries that are having problems. We thought that the war in Ukraine would have ended by now, but it is still going on. And then now the Israel war, and there's so many countries that are suffering. In Africa alone, we have Niger, a problem that has to be solved. We have Nigeria, the Boko Haram. We have Sudan, Eritrea, all oh, so many countries. And apart from the political turmoil, we also have environmental problems. So many countries are suffering from floods, from um, uh, earthquakes, from fires. Others are suffering from fire. Others are suffering from too much rain. So Heavenly Father, we need balance in all these things. And they can only come on earth when we have a peaceful world, a well-balanced world. Then we go to the families. There are also so many problems in families. So I want to ask our beloved heavenly parents to look at that family, the family that you wanted to create in the beginning with Adam and Eve united together as father and mother. And then there was a mistake and things went wrong. So we have to go back to that original plan that you had for the family. In the meantime, we want to pray for all the heads of families because they are the ones connected to God. All husbands in families are directly connected to God. So we pray that they can really tap that love from our heavenly parents and bring it to the family. And we pray for all the families in this era to be God-centered because there is nowhere else we can go. We cannot go anywhere apart from to God. It is said in the Bible that he is our creator and he, he is the potter. You know, they said that if, if a, pot, a potter has a right on what he created, so it's only God who has a right on what we, on what he created, we his children. Thank you so much for today. I love you all brothers and sisters. And let's continue to be united and bring peace on earth. Adieu, adieu, amen, amen, amen. Adieu, adieu, amen, amen. Uh, let's uh, try to invite our brother Archbishop Eugene. Eugene, can you pray now? Happy Bless welcome. Yeah, sometimes he have difficulties with the net. Uh, Eugene, can you pray now? Uh, okay. Yes, we have difficulties with the net. Okay, please join my prayer. And let's go with global prayer chain. Okay. Join my prayer, please, um, everybody globally. Dear Heavenly Parents, we are so happy to meet you alive here. We meet our substantial uh, Heavenly Parent. Uh, finally, after so many thousands and billions of years, uh, uh, now as the Messiah is coming up in the era of direct presence of God, we could be with God 24 hours. So thank you so very much that uh, is open the, this era. As we pray for all uh, 8 billion uh, people on the earth for their salvation, blessing, and healing and success, we understand from the words of God, uh, from Messiah and coming today, that uh, success could come only by uniting mind and body. And we see those people who unite at maximum their mind and body, they really bring substantial results in their life, in their business, their family, communities, country, and the world. And let these people become even more in numbers. And increase, increase, all 8 billion supposed to be successful. As uh, Heavenly Parents, uh, God want to see everybody happy, healthy, blessed and saved without uh, uh, any problems uh, and, uh, and the health. 
And uh, dear Heavenly Parent, we pray for this day and hour to approach to every individual as soon as possible as Messiah and coming. Bring already 11th year of the Heavenly Kingdom justice supposed to be inherited in every family, community, country, the world. Please help us to understand this as you pray for all humanity in this today's world that uh, uh, God's will should be done as soon as possible to bring peace by 2027. Dear Heavenly Parent, please lead your providence even more faster that your will be done. And I pray for all prominent people who are here. I pray for Archbishop Eugene in uh, Kenya, Africa, for his family, community, country, and the world, all of his uh, great churches across Africa. I pray for... Irina family in Uganda, please lead the, her ministry there and all her great work, what she is doing there in education, people uh, on God's will. Dear Heavenly Parent, I pray for James, uh, give him uh, great health and uh, great uh, success in all his great work, what he is inspiring people there in uh, Nigeria. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, and me and Julian, we are in Europe, we pray, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, protect us, protect us, individuals, our families, community, country, and the world, protect it from all this uh, that uh, we have uh, uh, fallen um, influence, uh, as uh, Messiah said in the words, uh, in background, the mind, there is a, a voice that is avoiding us to live happily and live in uh, just goodness. Dear Heavenly Parent, the day has come that uh, it could be done totally and absolutely as uh, it is done um, uh, era of direct dominion of God without any pres pres uh, presence, uh, without any traces of sin. Let this uh, culture that we feel here in this concrete meeting from the Messiah's coming, let this fill the earth, let it fill the individuals. Uh, heart, uh, families, communities, countries, and the whole world. Dear Heavenly Parent, lead us. Lead us uh, every day, every hour, second, uh, as our sister was praying, to find prepared people, those who are prepared by God, to cooperate together and finish building kingdom. Also, I pray, dear Heavenly Parent, please lead us to find uh, finance uh, uh, not someday, but today and every day, every hour, every second, to raise finance for this great work of building Heavenly Kingdom, World of Peace by 2027. Now this is possible with all of these technologies and all everything what uh, bring uh, uh, God to the earth. Um, I pray for all the um, pastors, bishops, archbishops, and even Pope, all of them who was at our meetings, businessmen, Prime Ministers, uh, Presidents of the countries and companies, uh, businessmen, politicians, uh, media, all of them to join hands together with Messiah and coming and finish building kingdom by 2027. This is possible. And let this not just be just a simple belief in this, but concrete work of God that God is doing behind the scenes. All the historic time of the uh, providence of salvation and let we feel this let we understand this uh, how we could do this uh, work here in our family community country in the world dear heavenly parent please lead us lead us to unite happily together with you lead us to liberate uh, ourselves from all of this uh, illness of, of the satanic influence let this uh, all purify from our hearts, from our homes, from our communities, country and the world. We pray for this, that you will be done. Uh, we understand from the presentation that uh, this is the human predestination, 5% of human responsibility to help God and, and building kingdom. Now this is possible and let's unite together and do everything together. Dear Heavenly Parent, in this day we unite together to understand you understand you because uh, as messiah inspire us we're supposed to understand the root of peace the uh, root of peace is in god and uh, our heavenly parent uh, and uh, is in uh, this uh, blueprint that god uh, uh, created the, the universe and all human lives uh, god have the predecessors for every each of one every human being and let this presentation fulfilled 
fulfilled in great liberation from the sin. We don't want to be in, in this uh, sin situation, but we want to be liberated. God help us, each of one, each of us uh, uh, who are here in this concrete meeting, each of us who are in the, in the world, everywhere. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, please help us uh, even to liberate our ancestors. This is a great work that Messiah and coming is uh, doing nowadays. And let we unite together. Let's do everything together. Let's uh, bring uh, God's uh, great work to fulfillment uh, by 2027. Dear Heavenly Parent, in this concrete day, I want to bring this uh, day as a pure offering. Uh, let's unite together and... Uh, plan together with you heavenly parent how we could live tomorrow and after tomorrow and every day for really successful life protection and abundance dear heavenly parent we want to be together with you we don't want more to be as it was historically and this great difficult but we really pray that all this all you will came to our straight to our subconscious mind right now right here let me unite in this uh, global uh, uh, mind uh, of all humanity to get wise and purify the earth purify from all of these uh, problems between mind and body between parents and children between husband and wife between between uh, families, communities, country, and the world, uh, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, we pray for peace in Eastern Europe. We pray for peace in the uh, Middle East. Uh, we pray that your will will be done there everywhere. As the uh, Messiah said, and even every human mind and body, absolute harmony, dear Heavenly Parent, and true love. Let we, these prayers came for success, wealth, and happiness and attract true love and abundance in every human life and families, community, country, the world. Let we be, really be successful our coming. All of these sins uh, that was uh, uh, historically avoiding us to live happiness and uh, in abundance. Uh, let we join hands together and most important to unite with them. Heavenly rule that Messiah is coming bring from God is living for the sake of others. We are living for our family, our children, for our um, husband or wife. We, we, we are living for our uh, grandparents and uh, for children and grandchildren, for all future generations. Lead us to purify the relationship uh, uh, and, and uh, this uh, human world uh, as soon as possible together with the media, with the um, businessmen, uh, with the... Uh, politicians and uh, purify and clean all the earth and place, place this uh, blessed land to all uh, uh, future generations for thousands of years ahead. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, lead, us, lead us to understand this great culture as we understand it every day, every hour, every second, as you wish for us and in every day at this concrete meeting, as we invite all our uh, uh, brothers and sisters, well, uh, billions from simple people to presidents uh, to join hands together in global prayer chain and pray one minute uh, globally at their local place and time and join our meeting uh, online. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, please uh, uh, help us. Let's unite together and do everything together. Let's uh, take down all of these uh, uh, difficulties that are avoiding people to live in peace. Uh, really uniting uh, people and organizations in this concrete time. And dear Heavenly Parent, we really love you. We really thank you so very much for this day, for our life, for everything, for our brothers and sisters, for everything what we have around and inside us. Dear Heavenly Parent, this is a great miracle and a great blessing. And we want to understand this and share this. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, lead us with happiness to unite mind and body and be really happy, healthy. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, lead us to understand this day and work together with you. Heavenly Parent, in this uh, uh, historical day and historical meeting, we are moving the providence day by day, hour by hour. 
we understand as we see the recent history from uh, at the Jesus time till now uh, only with those uh, prayerful hearts those people who was praying very hard those who were sacrificing they was built together in 2000 year uh, ideal of Jesus a world of world of brotherhood and uh, it is now right here right now the world of democracy but this is not the end as you send the uh, heavenly parent uh, yes eyes are coming and they built heavenly kingdom 11th year on this concrete earth right now let me inherit this let me inherit it uh, with all our open heart uh, in our uh, life in our family community country and the world Thy will be done heavenly parent let this uh, great uh, powerful um, mechanism of uh, spiritual purification of our minds uh, purifying our minds and our ancestors and uh, pass this uh, great culture of true love that we are feeling here in concrete moment at this concrete meeting uh, pass it to all future generations uh, all our descendants uh, our children grandchildren and uh, all other please protect them all every day every hour every second also protect us dear heavenly parent uh, protect us uh, protect our family all who are in this uh, meeting as we pray for the world as we pray for the solving the world problem uh, let also this uh, great power protect us protect us as much we invest our heart for the world uh, let it uh, even more harder protect us from all of these problems protect us and our family those who join this uh, meeting those who share this video who watch this those who really support uh, this uh, great movement let's unite together and do much more dear heavenly parent in this concrete day uh, we really bring this uh, great uh, uh, work of you uh, that we understand this we understand you and we want to help you holy father holy mother we want to help true parents true father and true mother only god son only god and daughter we pray for you all and all our ancestral and spiritual world and all descendants Please receive this short report. I pray in my name as Nikolai Kirpalas and bless family. Adieu. Amen. 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 Yeah, thank you very much, brother and sister. So good meeting. So powerful prayers from you. Let's try one more time to invite. Uh... Good night. Uh, because uh, we, we prepare for the Christmas. Every father bring the peace. In the church, bring the peace of 25 in Africa, in America, in Asia. Bring the peace in the leadership. Bring the peace in the family. Uh, Father, my Redeemer. Jesus, name my prayer, Amen, 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 amen. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> so good meeting.